Yes, people, what is going on? So today I'm going to show you a 10-minute circuit that you can do to improve your dribbling, change of direction, running with the ball, quick feet, explosiveness, a lot of components that we're going to be doing in a match and in training. So yeah, that's enough talk from me. 10 minutes of continuous work as well. Let's get on the circuit. Bosh. So how the circuit's going to go is that we're going to start on this red cone here and sprint with the ball to the opposite red cone as fast as we possibly can. And as we get to the red cone, we want to turn to this nearest white cone here and then we want to complete the zigzag. So dribbling nice and tight to the cones, using both feet throughout as well, very important. And then as we get to this final cone here, we want to dribble to the cone weaving drill. So these yellow cones here, and we want to dribble in and out, keeping the ball nice and tight to the cones without touching them. And then as we get to the end of the cone weaving drill, we want to roll the ball to the side towards our orange cone and then complete our explosive training. So jump into the middle and then jump over to your left or right. And then back into the middle again, jump to the opposite side, back into the middle and then jump forward to end that drill there. Dribble round the orange cone and then as we get here, we want to roll the ball to the side of the ladders towards our orange end cone and then do an icky shuffle through the ladders Keeping, it nice, uh, keeping our feet nice and tight and very quick. And then drag the ball to the orange cone here. And then once we get to this orange cone here, we want to take a nice little recovery, shifting the ball using different parts of the foot. So just work on your ball mastery to the red cone and repeat the circuit once again. And look to do that for 10 minutes of continuous work. Let's go, bosh. <laughs>
So that is a 10 minute circuit that you can do to improve your football performance. Like I said before, how we work on a lot of aspects that we do during training and a match. For example, we was doing ball mastery and dribbling with the cone weaving, change of direction and dribbling with the zigzags, explosiveness with the hurdles, a lot of aspects that we do during training and a match. Also, if you find that workout a little bit too easy, have a minute rest in between the circuit and then go again. I wouldn't recommend doing more than three, but yeah, that's enough talk from me. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and until next time, bye.